Okay, mark should be on. Everything appears to be fine and dandy. Let's just get rid of the usual text, which is that. And this one. There we go. And I'll just open up the channel. There we go. Okay, it may just be me this stream because I feel like I'm in a streaming mood. And yes, this is on a Tuesday. I feel like I should open these up more often. I'm not making enough progress in these games. Let's say that. I want to do more, but just doing two streams on a singular game ain't fast enough. So let's add another day. That should increase progress at least. That's my plan. But that probably means it's be more me on my own. So, meh. Anyway, let's uh, pick up for Sonic Unleashed, shall we? Let's get to the screen. There it is. I already loaded the save because I'm a sensible boy. Alright, continue. And this drops us off right back on the globe screen. Seamless. Right, so the places we can go, as highlighted on the map, we can go to Spagonia or Kubiska, which is basically uh, the North Pole, the Arctic, and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do Huluska. Uh, I want to be there in the day, I think. Doesn't matter, once I get there, I can change the time of day anyway. There you go. Let's check out the place. It's going to be odd being on my own again, unless someone decides to hop in right this second, which probably not. Oh well. It's back to the old ways for me. Oh, it's Wintos. We found him. That was quick. Basically, this guy's pretty much scared of us for the majority of the game until we encounter him enough. Hi! Come on, sell us something, man! And there he goes. Shame. Drink. Sorry, it was a nice snowman, but I needed the thing. Let's see here. We need to know about the Gaia Gate, I think. I don't think it's necessary to talk to everyone about it, but it's good to check anyway. There's another one. Link. One back here? No. It's usually about two or three in each area. Hmm. Strange indeed. Although, maybe my mentality is a bit off. I could be too far used to the uh, SD version when you actually unlock the Gaia Gate. Alright, well, let's just um, hop in. Nah, uh, maybe not, actually. I think this guy's the guardian. Again, it could be the SD version being reminded here. His, this guy's joke is that he's forgetful. Oh, you're the uh, store, though. Let's see here, what we got? We got some rings to spend. Let's see. Um, I usually just buy all the uh, gift stuff so I can get something out of it. You get moon and sun metals out of it, so it's worth it in the end of the day. So buy these so you can be more prepared in the future. Let's see. Uh, anything else? Ah. Alright, well, we bought the merchant stuff. Let's go uh, check out the stages, shall we? I like the loading screen, it's basically the. Uh, what is it? The Tails Electronic? I think that's the idea of it. We need to get across there. For those boots. Let's see. Alright, so since we got rings, and it's demonstrating that we can boost through water. We Let's use that. Hey, look at these boots. These neat ass boots. Let's put them on. Stomping shoes. Uh they look like they would slow you down rather than speed up, but oh well. They're designed to allow us to stomp, so now we can stomp. Hey! Basically, it's only useful for buttons and breakable platforms, but it is good to force, like, stop yourself if you go too fast. There we go. He does that. Let, let's keep looking around. Aha! As many as we can get. I don't think I can. No. I'm too short. Let's see. What else is in here? Uh, there's a button here. I think that's there for the sake of opening the door in case it shuts on you, but that's it, I think. There's another one. Alright, Wee Ice physics! Our thing here, joy. Right. Oh, yes. We need to do the appropriate uh, day and night stages that have keys on them. If you pass through them, we'll unlock the appropriate boss gate, pretty much. 
So let's do Cool Edge. Really nice track of this one too. It's time for a day stage, my god! Whee! Yeah, just mind the obstacles, be decent at the game, and there you go, and... No, oh, can't stop, can't stop, can't stop! I was gonna get the, the sun medal. Never mind. I need to get as many as I can get, so... I'm trying, dammit. Oh, well, maybe I can get it now. Let's try it again! I probably lost the S rank, but I don't care. Okay, let's try and stop jumping too often. It was here, wasn't it? Can't see. Ah, I missed it. I used to get a life every time I pass through here, so that's alright. It's kind of hard to get the Sun and Moon medals in these stages. That's uh, not boost here. I said not, but alright. Not the best at this game, it's been a while. They're a bit rusty. Excuse my rust. At least having a longer boost meter as well. The ice physics. Oh, that's a good demonstration for the stomp ability. You can only defeat these guys by stomping on them. You can't help me attack them, but I think it's just to align yourself. Sake of speeding through the stage. There we go. Alright, moving on. Time for a sledding sequence. Hits 4, 10, mandatory. But luckily, you uh, automatically ah, hurt enemies if you run into them. So you don't need a boost. It's a whale! It's a big one! Wee! Yeah, progress. I'm not sure if it matters if you hold down the jump on these, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was good instincts, but bad timing. Steady. Ooh, almost jumped over that one. Thank you. Take my time here. You don't need to boost everywhere, I know it's the boost formula, but it's not, yeah, it's not always mandatory. Tempting as it is. Only boost where it's necessary. Especially with this short-ass boost meter, I'm used to it being longer. Ooh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I think the dash panels that are rainbow-colored usually indicate that you need to do a QT for... I think. Never could be bit off. A big whale. Is there nothing here? There might be something here. I guess not. Okay, moving on. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, KevBev12345. And Nature has actually had a follow, so thank you very much. Oh, no, I wanted the extra. No, I'm going back for it. I don't care if it's not necessary, I want it. It's fine. I meant to do that. Totally. My foot. Alright. I'm still too used to doing this with extra people in the chat, uh, in the voice chat, but it's just me today. Uh, timing. I'll get used to this again. That's how I started, and that's how I'm gonna pick it up again. Whee! Now they're putting in bombs. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they? Ah, oh, damn it! I misaligned it. Ah. Uh. Steady. Oh, where did that one hurt? Whatever you say, game. At least in this game, thankfully, you don't lose all your rings when you get hit. Thank God, they changed that for this game. Yay, you got that one. Eh, could be better. Alright, 
we got half a key. Uh, I guess ring energy is the meter, not the amount of ring you hold. But I don't have enough energy for it. So I should put it towards combat. Alright, and I'll put the rest on ring energy. I, think. I want a longer boost meter, not speed. And cap speed is neat, but I need the ring energy. Oh, that was easy. Oh, okay. Nothing to do in the night? Okay, that's oddly specific. Alright, well, uh, let's go do that. If Chip says so, we shall do so. Besides, I have some gifts to give the professor anyway. It's a shame there's no, like, instant press button to go to the professor thing. I mean, there is when you're in the world map, but not really, technically. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, let's go here in the night. Why not? I'm in a good mood. Why the hell not? That's a Miles Electric. That's what the tablet's called. You know, since the Wii U was released, I was kind of attempting that like, someone would make a skin or a mod of the tablet thing to make it look like the Miles Electric. That'd be cool. A missed opportunity. Hey, maybe we can get that for the Switch. We found him again! It's Wintos. Come on, you gonna, you gonna sell me something? No. Oh, wait, are you still here? Yes, we do. Hi. Oh, we know his name. We did it. He's finally spoken. And there he goes. That's the first steps. At least we know his name. Alright, let's see. What have you got, good sir? Let's see. Uh, I shall take your miniature flag. And I shall take your Spagonian cameo. I do not know what the hell that is. It looks like a badge. Right, let's go see the professor. I got stuff to give him. We don't even reach the door. We're just in the middle of the hallway, then loading the screen. Please give us a door prompt. Wouldn't have hurt. Professor! Hmm. Alright. Well, I was going to do that anyway, but since we're here... Uh, souvenirs. Here you go. He mostly gives hints, but if you give him enough stuff, he does give you things. Oh, he does also give hints about the people as well. They have small side quests too. There we are, sun medals. It was worth it all doing. The sun medal will help me in the future. It's a shame you don't really see these gifts like in the professor's office here or anything, his laboratory. It would be nice to have a visual indicator of all the stuff you bought. There we go. Alright. Well, we got one medal out of him, so that's fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. Should probably go back to Aptos then to see if I can get any uh, uh, stuff there. Maybe. Alright, uh, let's see. The gate is over here. To the temple thing. It's not really the temple, it's just the hub. It's weird. Alright, so do we do the day or the night stage? That's the question. Yeah, it looks like the night stage, not the day stage. I don't think I'm actually physically capable of getting there. I don't think. Uh, that is for an extra thing, though I think I can do it. Hang on. Do it. There we go. Okay, I thought you need to charge up to do one one swing attack. I think that one requires it though. Oh no, no there we go. Ah! Screw you, game. I did it my own way. Let's see. This is the only way you can access the tail stage, and there's nothing else here. Yep, that's that's it. That, that's, that's all this was for. Simply enough, if you just want to S rank it, you you can do it. Alright, anything around here before I change the time of day? I can't get through that area without it. There is an upgrade here, it's supposed to be on here. I don't think I can go under this. No, I can't. Alright, time to change the day. 
transition. Odd fact is that these loading screen animations are exclusive to the HD versions on the 360, not on the the um, not on the PS3 version for some strange reason. I have no idea why. That's, I have a feeling it's something to do with optimizations at the time. Let's see here. There's our upgrade, but I don't think we can get to it. Uh, it doesn't hurt to check anyway. Button pressed. No idea what that did. Ah, okay. Now that did the thing. And I got a book. Yay. Right. Uh, can I? No, I can only change the time the time of day in the the sundial. Weirdly enough. Now we can wall jump. It's a little finicky, but it works, and it works on pretty much majority of the walls. So that would include here too. We can't go there yet because, uh, well, we don't have the light speed dash yet, and it's a pretty nifty ability. Uh, we can check out other stuff whilst we're at it. This is also a good way to uh, get access to extra missions and stuff you probably have unlocked later on. There you go. See, this is where a mission would be. Uh, I believe. That's not how I was supposed to do it, but whatever. Well, I'm here now. Oops. Let's see, uh, they left a button for me, thankfully. All right, uh, let's check what is over here. Maybe there's something here, maybe. And it is a empty gateway. That's fine. All right, uh, don't think there is anything. No, I don't think there's much benefit for doing it. Considering we were just there in the night version, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Whee! Let's see. There we go. Whee! Extra life. Well, it helps. Alright, open up. Uh, I need actually two more rings just so I can get another life. Here we go. 20, nice and rounded out. Alright, well, that's our stage. Might as well do it. It looks like it hurts every time he does it. Do you think he gets used to it? Like, it can't be a comfortable thing. Alright, rooftop run. But, in, but at night! Right, I've upgraded quite a bit since uh, the last Werehog stage, so let's see what our abilities are. Oh, and uh, don't forget to explore, because the nice stages are the best place for medals and such. Let's just check my skills. Let's see. Uh, I think I got enough abilities as of now. Do I have any of the charge attacks yet, or is that later? No, I think that's for the next. Yeah, I think it's for the next few. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's have a look around. Invade these personal homes as well whilst we're at it. Oh, no one's in there now. They're not going to use it. Drink. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Ah, old dog used to beat up. Yoink. Ow. Come here. Stupid dog. There we go. That looks important. I'll leave that alone for a minute. Alright, I'll use it now. Ow. I don't want to tend to whatever. Ah, the combo's coming back to me. Oh, the pots did the extra damage there. Neat. <clears throat> Job done. Alright, that seems to be the main direction we should be heading, but I'm not going to do that yet. Let's uh, break down these doors. Into these personal homes. There we go. What's in here? It's a tape. I shall take that tape. Run with it. 
at least there's not too many fights for this stage. At least I remember, at least. Um, like, the, the day and night stage music is really nice. Like, the night ones are really nice and jazz-like. But, god damn it, there's no music variety for the combat music. They just bother with that part. That would be nice. Yeah, at least in the middle, like, before combat and such. Like, it's still good music. Come on, double jump. There you go. Doing that trick. Pressing the A button early before you grapple something makes you fling up a little higher and you curl up into a bolt. That's the only time the warehouse does that as well. Oh, red doggos. And basically the harder variants, because naturally they'll be harder variants. I think the next few upgrades should be focusing on strength, I think. Get myself as much of a tank as possible. Stupid goddamn dog! There you go. Alright, uh... Oh, there's a bit of XP. Need as much as I can get, because I missed out on that la the last damn boss thing. Ah, uh, that was a mistake. Let's see, there's a ledge there. Let's try and stay there as much as possible. Uh, you know, make it awkward as possible. Come on, I see an extra. I see an extra. I know one when I see one. Actually, I think there's something... Mm, well, I've missed it now. Can I go back up? Is that possible? Is it a possibility? Maybe? The ring's there. I missed out, I think. Ah, alright. Moving on. Let's see... Just going to, actually, I'll, I'll take the box. I shall take the box. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this just got awkward for me. Uh, Charlie, my cat is now on my lap. Wait, can you please sit down? I'm gonna make this work as much as possible. Is it bad? <laughs> it's, it's pretty hard to fill the void when you're on your own realization now. Go. Just gotta collect the XP before it despawns. Now I know that's a thing. There. Easy enough. God damn it. This is one of those games where your second jump gets eaten for some reason. Need to sneeze. No, I don't want to sneeze. <coughs> ah, sorry. Excuse me. All right. Uh, I think I need to go back. There was a ledge there. I just place this key somewhere. Where does this go? Oh, other side. All right. Let me go back. I think there was a ledge. No, no. Okay. That's just bad vision. Where's the other one? It's here. Boop. Alright, moving on. Yeah, most of the night stages are a mix of decent platforming, combat, and some puzzles. So, basically, God of War. A very, very simplified and PG friendly God of War. Trying to do the combos that I'm used to at max level, where I'll, yes, max level, I bothered. So I'm gonna get the EXP before you make me despawn him. Thank you. Right, uh, I need to bring that barrel down. Oh, where did you come from?
pause whilst I'm waiting. There. Off it goes. Hey, it's that, that, that thing from Sonic Generations. This game stole that from Generations. Oh, more. Great. Okay, these are basically just built-in gunmen, pretty much. For their arms. Instead of swords, they just... They, they can shoot. So, it's ideal to actually focus on them first before they chew down your health. Uh, anything up here? I mean, they let me go up here, so why not? Right, I want to climb this ledge first. There's that thing over there. It's a mini boss. I think it's a spawner. I don't really know what. I don't really know the enemy names here. Like I do not memorize any of them. Can I throw this at him? Come on, turn around so I can see it. Oh, I'm good. I can throw things midair. That's nice to know. I better. I want to kill him before he spawns anything. What is that? Nice. Before he even did anything. I wonder if you can farm XP from it, though, if it spawns enemies. Probably not very high levels of XP, though. See anything down here? Nope, that's just a very convenient spot for something to catch a barrel if it happens to roll down here. See, more exploring. More houses to barge into. I do wonder why there isn't, like, diversity in the battle music. I have to keep bringing this up. I feel like this battle music was meant for this stage in particular. You can tell in the, in the instruments, really. Or at least the Empire City one. The, uh, the not New York. I just lost my damn XP for this thing. Hey, you make me fight all the way over here. I'm going back for that, you know. Hmm, yes, can't see his HP, but I'm just going to assume he's dying. to go back or am I locked off? I am locked off. God damn it. Just lost stuff. Good. Great. Well, I might as well try and grab the stuff here at least. Uh, that's an extra life. That's neat, but it's not what I'm looking for. Start. Uh, what's up here? Sorry, sorry, he was in the way. Just ruining all this stuff that's been set up by these poor people. Ah, it's all going on. It's it's all wrong. Uh, that's that side dealt with. Uh, let's check this side. I'm now badly annoyed that I'm locked up from extra stuff. I.e. moon and sun metals. Have to make do. Oh, well, at least I am collecting them. I've seen other people that just don't bother collecting them, thinking they're just, you know, normal collectibles. Not realizing they're mandatory at all, you know, if we're actually progressing in the game. This one's blocking. How dare he? How dare this one enemy fight confidently, knowing he can block as well as I can. Ooh, that book. Neat. I'd rather take the video tapes, though, to be honest. side. Okay, moving on. Still annoyed I missed out some stuff, though. Might as well pull 
hopeless. See you some here. I wonder what's in those barrels. I mean, realistically, it'd be like wine, I'd imagine. I mean, this is supposed to be like a European location, so realistically, it would be wine. I don't know. Uh, let's go back up. More stuff up here. Ideally, a medal of some variety. Uh, yes. I do appreciate this game does reward you for exploring. Like, it's encouraging you to do a very adventure-like, would you say? Mm -hmm. That's probably something I should clarify. In Japan, for some reason, this game's name is Sonic World Adventure. I.e., this is the third Sonic Adventure game that no one acknowledges. Technically. I'm guessing the Werehog style gameplay is kind of embracing the Unleashed, um, uh, the adventure gameplay style, really. If you think about it, because that's what the adventure gameplay style was about. Like, it was speedy, but it allowed you to explore, do stuff you wanted to do, pretty much. Like, you could go through the stage as fast as possible, but you could also take a side path here and there, and hey look, there's an extra reward for doing it. Just saying. Someone's probably been spawning enemies whilst they've been fighting down here. I've been losing health, and I didn't even notice. Hmm, I'm not getting much of the step up stuff. Ah. Yeah, for some reason I can actually grapple this thing. I don't know why. Ah, screw it. Let's do the QZ. Let's see what happens. He just goes right in there, doesn't he? There we go. Just killed him from the inside. Why not? VXP. And again, I stopped it from spawning anything. Oh, I'm a few rings short from an extra life. Let me just make sure I'm collecting a few. Let's see. Clock tower. It's a climbing section. Up you go. Oh. Yeah, the 100 rings thing don't apply for the warehouse for some reason. It's an odd quirk. Makes sense, I suppose. The amount of rings you do need to collect for this, the uh, night stages, it makes sense. Because the rings are for your, for refilling your health, not, you know, the rings are your health. Ow. My uh, jumps are being ignored. Okay, I get it. It's, it's, a, it's a long drop, but you don't need to exaggerate for it. There we go. Uh, I don't need to slide down. I can just... There you go. Right, I need to double jump. I'm thankful the grapple reach is quite forgiving, so take advantage of that as much as you can. You don't need to do the full route, pretty much. You, no, you don't. It's, it sometimes is ignored. I don't get it. So I have to grab that extra life. It's right there. Oh, Christ, that was close. Here we are. 
Okay, uh, we need to change the time. Let's see. It's now 3... Jesus, 3.30? Speed up the time, it's too too slow. There we go. That's not how clocks work. That only chimes when it's at midnight, not the other way around. Come on, move it. It's selective whether he moves fast or not, it's weird. Don't go down. Keep going. Keep moving. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, uh, uh. That's not too bad. I got most of the medals. It's fine. The ledge grabbing there. If you're just gonna fall in anyway. Punch him long enough that the com the the combo will break the guard, but you gotta do a full combo for it to work. There we go. And there's our key. Well, the gold ring. It, it's both. It functions as both. Just collect these before they go away. Nice. Our rank is. Ugh. If I didn't fall, the, the rings pretty much would have bumped that score up. Right, uh, let's bump the combo up. Uh, ah, look at that one. Uh, we want to increase strength more. Go, uh, let's put another one to combat, so it's a level 10. Nice. Now we can charge up the attack. And the last meter will go to ring energy. And we'll put the remainder on this guy. Strength's gonna need a lot. We're gonna need to get a lot of food for XP. Uh, let's put the last bit to unleash. Uh, sorry, life. <laughs> shield doesn't matter. It's not how much. It's not your defense. It's just your shield meter. You, how much you can block. It's not how much you're. It's not how much damage you're taking. I think. Could be wrong though. He's a possibility. What news have you got, boy? Uncanny camera. Hey. Okay. Oh, and I think an event was supposed to happen, didn't trigger fully. Oh, it's just a bunch of people having a good time out, by the looks of it. Ah, they're just having fun. Leave them. End of the world, I would dance too. Some kind of party going on? No, something's not right here. Oh, they were um possessed. Okay. Weird. Hmm. Right, time for a little mini event. Because we can. Why not? Right, so in the WiiWare version, not just Wii version, not WiiWare, um, it was just a simple QTE event, but here we actually are finding the possessions of the people in a time limit as well. This is basically an extra challenge mode. But once you do them once, you can't do them again. It's weird. Basically, you just got a set amount of enemies to kill within a time limit. And, uh, yeah, if you fail, you gotta start all over again, so it sucks. But the first one's a freebie. And missions don't have rankings, you just do them, you get your experience, and some rings, there you go. Job's a good one. I'll just put all that back on that meter. Was I just doing? You were the king of the dance floor. That's what you were doing. Uh, hey. 
<laughs> Later. Nah, can't be. Looks nothing like him, even though there is a resemblance. Here just a moment ago. Tell me what happened to him. Please tell me everything you know. I'll happily explain everything. For a plate of cucumber sandwich. That man in his sandwiches, I swear to Christ. Hmm. It's basically in the middle of the night. If we see anybody who has a particular trait going on, we can take a flash of a person and do a little mini event. But we can only do it so many times, because the camera's flash only has so much power in it, naturally. So, yeah, we can do that optionally. It is not mandatory whatsoever. But, you know, if you want a little bit of extra XP, maybe a little bit of extra money, I don't know. So, yeah, that's a thing. But your real source of extra XP is actually through this, so <laughs> food. Food is the answer. Let's see here. I do want to buy these things here so I can view extras, but I gotta remind I gotta remind myself that they are not necessary. I've already got a hundred percent completed file elsewhere. Well, at least for collectibles and uh, certain things. Not fully hundred percent, but complete enough. Right, um I actually don't know where I'm going actually. Let's uh, let's check in with the professor. Because we did what we did what the professor asked for. We don't know where we're going now. That means we'll be seeing Amy real soon. Any minute now. I could talk to all these people, but I don't wanna. Hi, Amy. Well, at least she cares what matters. Alright. Where are we off to, Professor? Yep. Wouldn't a flashlight be a bit more efficient than a camera? I guess the, I guess the camera is better for strength, I suppose. Sonic? Let's see, Chunnan, which is basically China. It's straight up, it's just China. There's nothing special about it whatsoever. Uh, here, I got another one. Yay, a moon medal. That takes up... Uh, that, that gives us what we could have grabbed on that stage. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see, we're already at level 3 for uh, Sun and Moon medals. That's good. I think the cap level's around level 7. So we're getting there. I'm assuming it's like, you know, every 10 is a level, so we're at level 30 now for... Uh, level 3 for 30 of them, so... In logic, it should mean that if we get to up to 70 medals, we'll get, you know, level 7. It's fair logic to assume. Right, we're going to China! Let's see. Thankfully, the map marks us where we need to go. Thank God. Let's go here during the day. There are extra stages and stuff you can do, optionally, but... I say optionally as in if you want extra medals, not for the sake of completing the story, it's for the sake of actually getting extra medals in case you missed any. Right, uh, I think that we can actually jump in the water here for some reason. Not really the most sensible thing to do, but whatever. Uh, should be... yep, this one. Knowing that the, um, in the hub worlds, they don't actually tell you how many, uh, medals are here for some reason, I don't know why. In here, they don't show you if there are any medals here at all, like how many you collected. But in the actual stages, yeah, they show you. They tell you. Anywhere else? Nah. Uh, is there one back here? No. I over here? No. Usually two or three. Uh, back here? No. Okay. Alright. Uh, I don't think I need to talk to anyone. Hi. What's, what's the problem? Hmm. I'll find the elder. Alright. Well, what's the treasure then? Oh. He 
just lost it that easy with a, a couple of earthquakes, eh? Alright. Oh. Hi. Do you know who you're talking to? Well, I have her permission, so I'll just go find the Elder. Later. What a strange man. Alright. So, uh, in this hub world, we'll find another, uh, well, useful upgrade. The Lightspeed Dash. We just go find it. And there they are. Air boost shoes. Oh no, this ain't the Lightspeed Dash, that's a different pair of shoes. This basically allows us to boost in the air. Very useful, but at the same time, if you're not careful, I'll well, say goodbye to your life. You have to be very, very careful with this now. Before, if it didn't matter if we had boost or not, we just do a little air dash. But now, since we have boost, it's tied to the homing attack. Ooh, I'm gonna go flying. Let's see, uh, I think I just need a boost back. Ooh, got a tape here. Good place. Strange, odd place for tape, but whatever. Right, uh, is there something here? I think so. I think I need to be here for the night one, though. Let's just check over here first. Oop, another thing. Blink. Yeah, be careful where you homing attack here. It's very easy to accidentally homing attack the, uh, the stuff. Here's where the light speed dash would be useful. I can't do it! I don't have the shoes yet. So I gotta get down. Right, uh... I am assuming is... No. That is the station I'm supposed to do, I think. I'm just making sure before I make any assumptions here. There is a much faster way to select stages, in case you're wondering. I think they unlock if you, you know, find the stage first initially. Right, I think you need to be here during the night. So once you've completed, or at least found stages, you can actually go back to the, uh... The world map, pretty much, and you can select the stages from there instead of going into the hubs. Very convenient if you want to get to a stage immediately. Right, let's uh, check again. Over there. Ah, no, the game's telling me it's over there. Convenient. But uh, I want to go grab an extra moon medal because I saw one up there and I couldn't grab it yet. Wait, what's over here? This is an extra thing. up here? I'm curious now. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, these are a thing, these are a collectible. Uh, that's just for a side quest. Yeah, it doesn't matter right now. Let's see. There's a moon metal up here. Yeah, uh, those are tea leaves we just grabbed, so that's for a completely separate side quest. Not relevant right now. Whee! Alright, that wasn't the moon metal I was thinking of, but hey, it's a step in the right direction. Uh, is there something back here? Uh, no. I think the Sun and Moon Metals are shared on in this area for time of day. I think it's separate in the main hub area, though. Let me just grab that first. I have a habit of collecting things, okay? If I don't, I won't get as nearly as many Sun and Moon Metals, so I gotta do it anyway. Seems to notice that the Werehog's jumps aren't as high as, as the Day Sonics, but um, to compensate is that Sonic, Werehog Sonic does have a double jump, so he is technically jumping higher than Day Sonic. So there's that. Keep going. Just gonna drop off here. It's much smarter than just, you know, platforming it. There we go. Okay, grabbed it. Let's uh, go to the thing. I think that I think the numbers indicate how much, what level you need to be to enter the thing, and I'm already at level three, thankfully. <laughs> Thank God. Alright, another night stage. I think I noticed a pattern here. It's usually following the main route, it's 
Two night stages and one day stage, because the day stages go by so quickly. Hmm, I see pots. I'm gonna break the pots. Thank you. And that's all ready. That was fast. Oh, they died before I could throw them. Oh yeah, you can't throw our enemies off the ledge. That's what you what just happened. Yeah, you don't always have to fight them. Like there isn't always gonna be invisible walls. Like here, I could straight up just ignore them if I wanted to, but I ain't gonna. Fuck you, wall. See, uh, no, I don't want to be pushed into the lake. That would suck. Oh, I thought I had a charge ability. Not yet, that's later. I did unlock A ability somewhere. Just wasn't paying attention to it. Let me see. Now, you know what? The smart thing to do is check the skills list. Nope. Uh, what did I get? No. I bet it's an aerial move. Yeah, I think I've been. Oh, I do. Ah, now I have a dash attack. Okay, cool. So, now I can do that. So, you know, whilst you're dashing, you can do an extra thing. Neat. See. Okay, I haven't locked all of them yet, but I will later. There are better ones I normally use. I think. I mean, they're just leaving them out there in the open. I'm going to grab them. state in order to grab them freely. I have to at least stun them, or I think I can be in the unleashed state to actually stun, uh, to grab the heavier enemies. And right now, stunning the enemies isn't exactly easy. I will be able to do it later, though. Let's see, that's a breakable wall there. Sometimes these areas can be uh, gauntlets, though, so you gotta be careful where you're exploring. When you're in a gauntlet area, like this one, it's pretty much mineral items to restore your health, so be careful where you're being hit. It gets worse later on with particular enemy types. Right now, these are pretty simple enemies, but they get worse as we go along. I could do combos, but they're not doing the damage. I'm letting the enemy die so they keep resetting the death animation. I think if they're grounded on the floor, I can't pick them up? I'm not sure. Look how much damage I actually do with the extra little gra uh, gravel item I got. It just won't die. The hornets suck. It's just impossible to hit. I think you can grab the hornets, though. I think they're free to grab. Yeah, at least I'm getting XP. That's, that's positive, I suppose. Yeah, they just like to do that. They just go up. You can't hit them, and it sucks. Oh, they're just ignoring my crabs. What the hell? I can do that. Back here, you. Oh, damn, these, okay, these sections are long, longer than I remember. It should be over by now. It's been so long that the song's looped. Restore, great, but that's not what we're looking for here. I have to be careful here. You can't fall in, it's really easy to fall in. 
that's not okay that's not a ledge you can stand on be careful with that it looks like you can stand on it but you can't all that for one goddamn moon metal Ugh. time well spent i could have gotten a sun metal whilst i was at it what was that There's two sun metals here Cheeky. Well, I wouldn't know they were there, so that's positive, I suppose. Alright, I think I can freely toss these guys if I wanted to. Let's see what happens. That's not what I wanted to do. Ow. No, I can't do it. Okay. You can damage them through the blockade, but they won't fall yet. And these guys know how to block. Well, at least I use the meter. It's better than just holding onto it for the entire stage and not using it. That's a bad habit. Ooh, this thing. I wanted to. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Fall in the water and kill all the enemies. Easy. Done. That's the whole point of why he's there. Right, I want to be careful not falling in. I could go for that moon metal, but it's really easy to fall in the water. He can't swim, so, you know. Even as a fluffy werewolf thingy, Sonic still can't swim. Screepy. Alright. Get off my stage. There you go. Sorry about your pottery, but you know, I wanted the thing. Sorry. We got the timing good. Ah, oh, almost. Ah, oh, damn it, I could have got two metals there. Uh, the timing was just a bit off. Alright, now we got magicians. These guys are fun. I don't know why they had a stealth attack, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, we got magicians here, they uh, have a diverse range of uh, effects they can do. They could either buff the magic, uh, or they could attack the enemies. They can restore health, you know, fun kind. And there's a third kind that I can't remember right now. I'm trying to grab them, but I'm just doing the QTEs instead. idea was it to bind the damn QT button with the same button as the grab. Oh, that's convenient. Exactly why I need it. Alright, I need to get past these guys. There are also uh, different varieties of, of wizards for elements as well. There's a fire and electric elements. Those are fun. dealt with. Let's just keep moving on. That's a good indication to hold down the B button whenever you can. Yeah. I'm giving you XP. I need it. platforming. Joy. <laughs> More flying enemies, please stop. The projectile kind as well. It was like an overhead, like... Hits type thing. I think that's something that the uh, Wii version does actually. Look at this. I hate these things because they just strip ignore your attacks. Even if you swear you're hitting them. Go. So I think that dragon there is an extra path. I think. But I'm not gonna do that. 
probably a good learning indicator of timing the jumps thing. Uh, is there an extra back here? Yeah, I think it's here. Yeah. Okay, better hurry up. Actually, extra uh, unleash meter there. <laughs> yeah, so the darker enemies can actually hurt their teammates inadvertently. I think they can at least. Oh yeah, there's enemy spawners as well. Those exist as well. Of course they do. Yeah. So this guy over here has been spawning more enemies for me. How dare you? And just die already. Oh, the boss music ended, so we're just back to the regular music. Boring. I think that's like five others, isn't there? Alright, is there a bit to the left here? Uh, yeah, there is actually, but I'm not gonna do that. That's stupid. I could die there and I could lose my score. I don't wanna do that. I just don't trust myself in death pits like that. You tight platforming. Just leave me to the end. Uh, there is an extra to the side here, though. I'll give it that. I may go for that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, over there. Uh, is there anything I can see from here, though? Uh, I just want to make sure. Ah, some in the middle. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it. Guess why I respawn? As soon as it does it. Yep, back here, and also my XP too. Yeah, sometimes it's just not worth it. Would have liked it if the XP stayed. Kill them to do that. Right there. There's the big guy doing my job there. Killing his own teammates. Ow, Christ, that hurt. Oh, that's it buffing. Yeah, that was worth doing it. Oof. Okay, so that was the... The, uh... Magician thing buffing the enemies there, so thank god I blocked. The one time I actually wanted to use it. Oh, now it loops a second time. Ugh, not near as much XP as I had last time. Alright, I'm not going for it this time, I'm just gonna go straight to the end. Not worth it. That, I got enough. That was an A. Like, if I stuck around with the rings, that would have been an S. Oh, I didn't get many room medals. Though. I would have gotten like three or four, really. You know, if certain stipulations happen. Right, I'm going to increase my life because I really need it. Right, and. Strength or. Let's put more to combat because more combat's good. Yay. And I will put the remainder on strength. Okay, there you go. Oh, we're, we're just here now, are we? Have you? I love it, it's a burb. It's a fire burb. Well, we got 
gotta deal with that apparently. Dark Gaia Phoenix. There's a sun metal there. I better go grab that. <laughs> I'm not stupid. It's on fire. That's stupid. Catch the thing. It's gonna be trying to put itself out soon. And just having to stand on the thing it wants to be. Yay! I did the smart thing. Now for QTE. A really satisfying QTE though. It's not ever like that. It's three faces. Come on, it's a boss fight. So yeah, this is the main goal for the Phoenix, is putting out its fire before we can do any damage to us. We can't punch it right now, or else we just you know, catch on fire. <laughs> it's a fire burp. What do you expect? So in the meantime, I'm going to grab some of these metals whilst I'm at it. There should be another sun metal somewhere. I need to figure out where he's going to stop. Oh, there it is. Looks like he's stopping here. The, uh... Goes. The water jug should respawn any minute now. Is it? There it is. I stopped at the right place. Alright, that's the only water jug I can use, so I'm gonna go grab it. Now the others respawn. Okay, that was just poor timing on my end. Catch! I blew it away, damn it. There's no way to do that. Still got this one. Take that. He's gonna need another one. Oop, wrong way, too early. I did it too early. Got him. Ow. Now I'm on fire. Now I'm on fire. Ah, shit. There we go. Ah, crap. Looks like I can't get at it while it's covered in I'm not the best of QTs. Thankfully, I'd made the right choice in strengthening myself, so it doesn't take as much to uh, bring down the QTE thing. You have to finish him with the QTE. Sorry, but that's the rules of the boss fight. Just wasn't focusing. So I'm hoping it's only on the second phase for the water thing. It's probably not. Come at me, burp! Aha! Now where are you gonna land? Going that platform there. I do like that it's, you know, it's not the same QTE, it's an extension of it. I really do enjoy the animations for the QTEs, because they're really, like, they're great ways of demonstrating, like, how powerful the Werehog form can be. Like, given the possibilities, like, you know, the Werehog actually is kind of badass. Give him a chance, guys, come on. I think I got it. I think. Just to work. Let's try for the next one. I think that counted. Not sure. Let's go for the next one. Look at me, actually using the damn block. Oh, there I. Oh, that didn't count. And I'm on fire again. Ah, oh, come on. That didn't count at all. We have rings here. He's gonna do his feather attack again. There we go. Looks like he runs out of breath eventually. That's my chance. Nice. Ah, nice. He's landed. Where's he going? This one? Tall one? Tall one. Stopped at the wrong point. Going 
for it again. And away you go. Strike three, monster. That's enough out of you. You're going to bed. Net bed. Uh, it's not two. Uh, nah, nah. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. You all right? Y yes, thank you. So, what is this thing? Does it do anything? Oh, huh. that's convenient. Nice. I open the door. An oddly specific good luck charm. Alright. Emerald number two. And loop. Alright. And here comes the next continent. Sadly, it won't be as well animated as that first one, because, you know, budget, that's a thing. There. Five more to go. Too bad. It's actually pretty easy, to be honest. What did he grab on? There was nothing to grab onto there. Oh hi! The moment the temple lit up, the beast woke up. It appears he's come back to his senses. Oh, uh, okay. I'll bet your job is to repair, guard the Chaos Emerald Temple. You must have gone berserk when the emeralds lost their power. Huh. Well, uh, I think you're going to lose your job because of that. Glad you're back. Want some chocolate? Not much of a guardian if you're not really doing your job for it. And apparently phoenixes like chocolate. Did not know that. Neat. Well, off he goes. You know, it's, it's more of a peacock than a phoenix, but uh, what do I know? You never see this thing again afterwards. Shame. Oh, yeah. At least it happened. And then it not to happen. Meanwhile, with Eggman. Your dinner, Doctor. Ooh. Thank you. That's a meaty sandwich. Let's just call everything in that sandwich. Current status is 27% complete. Progress is significantly behind projected time. Damn, he ain't that fast. No. Oh, of all the lazy, here I'd go to the trouble of waking that Dark Gaia thing up. And it causes me nothing but delay. Dark Gaia has yet to reach maturity within the planet's core. Ergo, it was still incomplete at the time of its awakening. Ergo, it was unable to sustain its own weight upon its release. Ergo, it scattered around the world. I don't want to hear about its weight issues. So what if I gave it a bit of a sudden awakening? This is unacceptable. Ergo, this is a repercussion of your hasty action. What was that? As it is, first that professor runs off with the Gaia manuscript, and now the planet's coming back together. <sighs> that factor is the result of the power of the Chaos Emerald, which you discarded along with Sonic. Ergo, another repercussion of your hasty action. Oops. Oh shit! I let the emeralds come out. Fuck. Succeed without any challenge. 
I mean, that's one way to look at it. It's a very uh, inconvenient base design. The fact he needs the chair in order to get around. Oh, anyway, moving back to Chun Uh, where are we going? I don't know. Let's go to the professor and find out. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's that reporter again. Hi. Yeah. Uh, let's ask her again. Maybe she might talk up more. Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe I know something. Alright, go ahead. Uh, not Gaia. Temple Guardian is a massive flaming bird. You could have said Phoenix, but alright. What are the gems? Oh, Chaos Emeralds. Who's behind the planet game broken like. Mr. Eggman. Dr. Milkman! Oh, God! That, that, that fiend! What's the name of the guy? Oh, uh... It's not really a dark guy anymore. Whatever. Alright, whoops. Bye! Yeah, maybe that's something I might keep up. Maybe. It happens to be in the way. Oh, there's a store here. Uh... It's, uh... Here. I will buy whatever you provide. There we go. Anything else? Um, I usually leave the foods alone for a while. Usually it's a good indicator of which foods you have and haven't bought. So if I bought one that's only meant for me, then it's kind of a waste. I want to see every interaction for Chip. It's just right now I don't have the rings to compensate for that. Where is we going? We're going back to Spagonia. To the capital. It's probably asking me to go do the day stage now. No, I have the air boost. I don't have the light speed dash yet. Hmm. And yeah, it's probably then the professor then. I need to remember I have a shortcut to the professor, actually. Um, I'm actually gonna go this way. I can go this way is the day side, yep, so let's see, this should be something around here. Here we go. Oh, hey. I didn't even know you were here. I didn't even know that was there. Damn it, I can't boost. Hang on. Uh, just... There we go. Yeah. Worth it. Alright, moving on. Sitting around here. Oh, that's the one I've already collected. I think I've already gotten everything here. Alright, what's up, Professor? Oh, I gotta go back. Right, well, I got souvenirs, so I shall hand them over. Yay, another sun medal. And here's another flag. Right, never mind. Uh, I'm good. Right, I believe I've unlocked a day stage for Spigonia, so let's go do that and maybe round up with Chun Nan. It looks like we're doing two day stages, if, um, if my math is correct. Is 
over here? Oh wait, I've, I've already been here. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. Okay, Duke. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, I've already done that stage. Let's see. Uh, here's our boss, but we need the boss key. Ah, it's up there. We need to go up. Up it shall be. That whole trail. Oh, it's time for some rooftop run. You know that Sonic Generation stage. You know, because at least totally didn't happen. Apparently, in Sega's eyes. Weird. All right, let's do this. I do wonder which version is better, though, the Generations version or the Unleashed version. Personally, I'd say it's the Unleashed version because I totally don't have a bias whatsoever. Also, the music's really good. So. <laughs> Side path. Ooh, yeah, almost. I forget that the, the speed stages exist after too much of a growl. I love this. This um, I love this stage's music. It's really good. Just go to the side path because I can. Nice. Did that one clean run? Grabbed it. Nice. Gotta grab as many as I can, even though it's really easy to miss them. Speed dash here. Damn it. No! Taking some of the side paths does reward you for extra things like the medals and such. And since I don't have all the abilities yet, I'm missing out on some stuff. I don't need that. My address is really off. Thankfully, you don't fall in the water there, thank god. Boosting section, and then we're pretty much done with the stage. This stage is really short. Yeah, I'm not too late. Oh, wait, that was a whole different section. Sorry, my memory's a little off. I think I'm too used to the Generations version of the stage. Boost to have to compensate. God damn it. You gotta just skim past one. And you can go through the normal barrels here, just not the uh, the red ones. Those are dangerous. Do the light speed dash, but I can't do it. It sucks. Ooh. Oh, the attack went a bit crazy there. Uh, they do respawn, right? Okay, they do. They do. Sorry, it took a minute for them to respawn. We should have to drift from the skies just to come back. Come back on the next cycle. There you go. 
away again. I think what happened is that the homing attack kind of overwritten a bit to the spring there, and it just zipped straight to it. Yeah, if you're nervous, if you're going to slide off the platform, it's safe to do a stomp right directly on the platform. You'll be fine. So if I did that light speed section there, I'd pretty much just skip this whole section just right here. I think it's possible to get the boost right at the... Ah, damn it. I think it's possible to get the boost right at the tip of the, the grind rail. Yeah, I can't boost right now until the sequence is done. It's usually more rewarding to go up rather than directly in front of you. Usually. I've been wrong a few times though. Alright, this is the last bit. I have a lot of rings, it would suck if I got hit. And there it is. I think it's safe to be in any position really for this bit. I'm not falling for that this time. Nope, not falling for that. I mean, you think they would learn to, I don't know, dodge to get out of the way of these damn things? Well, jobs are good. It should be an S rank, right? Cool. Eh, good enough. Sure, if I didn't get hit, I would have gotten an S rank from that. Maybe. Uh, yes, ring energy. More, please. There we go. Uh, now, it, it can generate its own. I'll put the last on speed. A little bit of speed wouldn't hurt. Do as he says. Wee! Joker. Right. Uh, next is Chanan. Let's uh, let's just do that. Yes. Should be a day stage, hopefully. The hell was that? Sorry, that was my cat. That was picked up. Made a weird noise. Right. What are these two doing here? Last time I checked, they were avatars. Oh, that makes sense. Since the planet's back together, people can travel across the planet. Right. That's not what we're here for. We're here for other business. Let's see. Where is our appropriate day stage that we so deserve? Oh, it's here. No, that's not it. That's the that's the boss, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right. Well, where's our day stage? We were promised a day stage. It's probably over all this. Oh. Are we actually short. We're sure we're actually short on metals. Ah, oh, damn! Only two more. It's a shame. That one doesn't count. Ah, oh, that's that's uh, that's a shame. Now, I've been trying as well. All right. Uh, you know, uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to do a revisit then. Right, let's go to Apatos. We've been ignoring that continent for a while now. I'm sure some stuff's to open up to it by now. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. It could be a lot worse. We've actually been trying to collect them. Other people would have had missing, like, eight medals instead of two. So, you know. 
Let's go to Aptos. It's been ignored for a bit. I'm sure something's unlocked over there by now. There we go. You know, this wouldn't be so bad if I didn't keep missing those damn Sun and Moon medals from the day stages. It's so easy to miss them. Right, uh, let's have a look around. I'm sure there's some here uh, somewhere. I couldn't find any initially. Oh, we weren't here before. Oh no, we have an amnesiac. It started. Uh, nothing here? Okay, well, there's a store here. We weren't here before. I shall buy all of your stuff. Hey, maybe Professor Pickle can actually pay us off. That's it. Okay. There's gotta be some Sun and Moon medals around here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here's one. That's a Moon medal, not a Sun medal. We need a Sun medal. I kind of sworn there's one in, in this her area here. Uh, maybe in the night version? Maybe? I thought there'd be more, to be honest. Not there. Here? No. Not here? I'm trying to get a good look. There's gotta be one here, right? Ah, there's one. That's a moon metal, though. It's not what we're looking for. Alright, let's try out the hub. I have better luck there. Wait. Uh, that's where we just were. And that's... Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try the hub. I have better luck there now. Since we got extra abilities. It should have opened up now. Alright. What can and can't we do? Well, we can slide now, so that's a benefit. Oh, that's a good start already. That's one. Uh, let's book. We just need another sun metal. I'm sure there's another one around here somewhere. Oh, a nerd. I'll take that. Found T. Uh, let's see. What about over here? Uh, no, I don't think there's anything back there. If there was, I would have already collected it. Uh, back here a bit? Let's see. That's a moon metal. Still one in this stage somewhere. Uh, environment. Well, we can go this direction, so that's positive. Right. Oh! Attention to this uh, doll here. He's telling us to go this direction! What a nice uh, goal thing. How helpful. That's to the Act 1, isn't it? Yeah. There's a bit of extra back there, but let's go this direction. What do you have to say, Mr. Gull? That way. Alright. Okay. Uh, here's a stage. It's got a medal on it. But it's not what we're looking for right now. Ah, here we go. Found it. Okay, we should be safe now. Not need to go that way, but whatever. Alright, we got our medals. We can get out of here now. We'll worry about future ones later. Alright, can I just go straight? No, nope, I gotta go back the long way. Alright. Oh, actually, let me talk to you. I am a bit of a traveler. All right, pop quiz. Let's see. I think you remember the name of the shop here in this town? Um, yay! What's the shop in front of the? Uh, it's an ice cream shop. Uh, Apotos. Uh, I 
Oleg? Eh. Wahaha. It does pay to actually pay attention to these people, so, you know. At least I tried. So, yeah, once she finished her uh, questionnaire, she goes to a different continent for more quizzes and, and the like. Alright, can I just go straight to the level? Is that an option? Nope, it's, uh, I'm not even given the prompt for it. Okay. Just have to go there manually. Oh dear. There we go. Right, gonna go climb the thing again. Just for it to get to the stage select. I, I think even if you're in this area specifically, like, if you find one of the podiums, you can just strip select the other stages. Right now, it wants me to do it legitimately, which is completely fair. Why, you silly fool, you air boost! There we go, level four. Dragon Road. I say we do this, and that's a good place to stop. Right. Go! And off we go. Yeah. Go! Make sure I keep my boost meter as much as possible. Oh, damn it. Go! Go! Ah, sure. Uh, decent reflexes there. Whew. This is just muscle memory at this point for these three stages sometimes. Except that. No muscle memory for those sections, though. Okay, who's up for some platforming? Yeah, platforming exactly day Sonic strong suit, but you know, it's functional, it does the job. I still think that the Unleashed Sonic controls better than Generation Sonic, no matter what anyone says. I still think that this feels better platform wise. Couldn't jump it. Uh, still good, still good, still good. I increased the ring meter thing. And I hit the checkpoint, so I'm fine. Trust myself for it at all. And if I had the light speed dash, I'd be using it right here. It's still good, still good, still good. Let's keep going. Stop. There's a thing here so we can get back on the track. Thank God. Wee. Oh, nice of him. I'm missing on the damn... Oops, I slid right into that. I was gonna say, I've been missing out on the uh, Sun and Moon medal so far. Not that time. That's too far. Too early. There we go. There's one. Could have gone two by now, actually. Oh, well. If only at the light speed dash. Might as well. It's right there. Safely 
think so. Mm. Need that metal. Oop, I missed it completely. I'm supposed to run into this. There we go. Diving section. Steady. Okay. I will say that air diving is a little slippery than I remember it being. on a little longer than I'm comfortable with. Oh, this thing. Back from the Wii version. Except this time now it's more based on distance rather than how long you damage it or anything. I'm not gonna waste my boost speed. Why would I do that? It's a waste. Press the shoulder button, it didn't go off. Yeah, I'm in the middle of it. It's awkward. And we're at the end. That was easy. Yeah, it's like squatting a bit there. Put the last of it towards this. It needs it. All right. Let's just see what happens after this. Oh, you're not gonna tell me what we're doing next? No. Okay. What's he doing? What are you doing, lad? I'm sure it's an intriguing story plotline, but I'm not here for that. Alright, uh... Usually the game would just tell me, Hey, you need to go back to the professor. It's, it's, it's critically important. Hmm. I think this is a good point to stop. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Okay, that will do for a stream. Quiet stream, but a stream nonetheless. Hey, we're now at 40 followers. You know what that says. It's it's actually 40. I know it is. Finally, it's been <laughs> it's been a long while since we got one. So hey, we got one. We're just 10 short of getting 50. Maybe we can do it, finally. Alright, that'll do for a stream. So check back tomorrow for more Sonic Unleashed. Uh, let me just show the preview. There we go, because I'm sensible. That's all you're getting. Alright. I'll do for now, so check back tomorrow for more Sonic Unleashed. Till then, goodbye!